schedule uh, groundbreaking for the uh, Third Avenue Viaduct. As you know, it will also uh, include um, a, uh, a structure on 18th Avenue as well. But what a great day, another great day for Columbus, and we have certainly had a lot of them recently. Uh, we'll introduce you to uh, the folks who are going to handle the shovels here in just a bit. Uh, but I also thought a couple uh, other recognitions quickly at the start. Lee Klein is representing Congressman Jeff Fortenberry. Lee, thank you for being here. Also with us today, uh, Joe Mangiamelli, former uh, city administrator here. Joe, thank you for coming back. And uh, Mike Moser, where Mike? There he is. Mike, thank you for being here as well, our former mayor of Columbus. Uh, and again, we'll introduce you to uh, the rest of the folks who will be handling the shovels here in just a bit. Uh, to begin with uh, this morning, we'll hand the microphone to uh, Mayor Jim Boakley for some thoughts on behalf of the city of Columbus. Thank you, Casey. Thank you all for coming. Uh, I'd like to name everybody that's been involved in this process over the years, but I know I'd forget probably more than half or, or three, three quarters of them. I look across the audience, of course, Mayor Mosier, uh, Joe, I saw Lloyd Kastner out there, maybe not part of the group that put this exact viaduct together, but years ago this has been discussed for I don't know how long. Uh, Dennis Grennan had an article that was from the Telegram in 2005, front page article about at that time Mayor Mosier's viaduct committee put together to make this happen. That, that's true, I was on it. But, uh, so, so, so yeah, quite honestly, I wasn't blaming anybody, but I guess you're right. <laughs> but the point being, so many of us think this has been going on forever, and you know, that's 2005, now it's 2017, finally gonna happen. But there's so many people in Columbus that would tell you, you know, it not, it's not uh, those 12 years, it's been, you know, the thought and the process has been trying to get done for 25 to 30. So finally, we, we are going to do it. For all those who thought they'd never see it, it wasn't going to happen in their lifetime. In a few minutes, we're going to turn some dirt, and it will happen. And I think what, it, what is really the neat thing about this is what's going to happen is we start here. As you know, we'll, we'll be piggybacking right into 18th, and then when we're done here, we've got 12th to follow. So this is the beginning of, I think, some really great transformation in the city of Columbus that has taken a long time to get here, but finally we're here and we're started. So with that, I, again, thank you all for coming. KC, what do you have next? Thank you, Mayor. We appreciate that. Uh, up next will be Kevin Damagawa representing the Nebraska Department of Roads. He's our uh, district engineer uh, joining us this morning from Norfolk. So, Kevin, the mic is yours. Thank you, Casey, and uh, thank you for inviting me to an exciting event that uh, really kicks off the 2017 construction season here. Uh, the groundbreaking represents a great partnership between the local community our rail partners, and then uh, also the Nebraska, Nebraska Department of Roads. Uh, a few of our uh, Nebraska Department of Roads uh, partners here today are Jody Gibson and uh, Glenn Staffensmeyer from our uh, local project unit, and then also Bev Vonacek from uh, our Intermodal Planning Division. Thank, thank you guys for coming. Director Schneeweiss was asked to come, but uh, uh, his schedule wasn't uh, going to permit it right at the end here, so he does regret not being able to be in attendance because this uh, type of project is uh, one that really is indicative of his philosophy. The importance of partnerships uh, shown here today is something the director has been stressing over the last two years of his tenure. NUR understands <coughs> we can't deliver the transportation, transportation system that uh, Nebraska needs without the help of our partners. Projects like this that increase safety, provide for increased connectivity, and incorporate innovation are the model for projects that are focused on meeting the needs of the public in the most efficient way possible. Throughout the planning and design of the project, we have listened with the intent of delivering a project that is reflective of the community's needs. This is something we are doing throughout the state. Communities and their leaders have been clear about the importance of delivering projects that impact their communities and grow Nebraska. 
This is especially important as we set out to build 21st century infrastructure needed to support economic expansion and increase safety. This project represents the next piece of a multi-step approach to increasing the safety and accessibility of the transportation, transportation system in and around Columbus. Once open, the 3rd Avenue Viaduct will provide convenient access to the south side of the community for com commercial, school, residential, and most importantly, emergency vehicle traffic. Can somebody turn off the lamp? <laughs> <laughs> okay. 18th Avenue Pedestrian Bridge will provide increased safety for students and those traveling to St. Bonaventure and let's go to Central Catholic Schools. Subsequent viaduct projects include Platte County's East 29th Viaduct and then the 12th Avenue project in Columbus. I'd like to thank the city, and especially Joe Mangimali and former Mayor Moser for their vision, leadership, and persistence. The railroad for working with the NDOR from Ellis Tompkins to Ryan Huff and Bev and to the citizens for their patience as we move forward to construction on this long-awaited project. These relationships have been built and strengthened over the years. And I look forward to building on these as we move into the construction phase on 3rd and 18th Avenues and soon to 12th and East 29th Avenues. Thank you and I'll turn it over. Thank you, Kevin. It is ter certainly a tremendous partnership that we enjoy uh, between the Department of Roads and, and local uh, governmental subdivisions as well, and, and we are certainly very appreciative of that. And certainly partnership is something that, that we live out every day here in Columbus. This is uh, one of a series of ribbon cuttings and ground breakings that we all have the opportunity to go to these days with things like the new Columbus High School, uh, hopefully uh, not very far in the future, at Columbus Library, I mean, on and on it goes. These are extraordinary times in our community. Today is one more opportunity to celebrate that, and it is important that we celebrate that. I would offer uh, this historical context. Uh, the, the mayor referenced uh, the newspaper article from 2005. I recall a moment, if I'm not mistaken, it was Joe that brought it to one of those viaduct committee meetings uh, that it was a Columbus telegram from the 1930s talking about the need to build a second viaduct in Columbus. Wow. 80 plus years this community has talked about it. 26, all right, 90 years that this community has talked about what we are doing today. I think that makes this a milestone. So congratulations to all who were uh, a part of that. From the Chamber's perspective, obviously, a development like this, cutting ribbons, breaking ground, um, it, it's what we love to see because it means development, it means opportunity, and uh, in this case, uh, safety as well, which is always second to none. So uh, from a chamber perspective, we congratulate the city, the Department of Roads, and, and all of the partners who made today possible. With that, we're going we're gonna to hand it back to the mayor is what we're going to do. <laughs> Only for one quick minute. And I, and I said I didn't want to try to point out anyone for fear of missing someone. But there is one individual that we really need to recognize because of his input into this for all the years that we've been trying. I've made fun of him over the last few months about being a bad penny that keeps showing up, and he showed up again. So with that, I want to thank Merlin Lindahl for his, his help in making this all come together. He's got to balance out all the abuse. <laughs> Seems fair. Uh, with that, we'll invite some folks forward to uh, turn some dirt. Mayor Boakley, of course, uh, Kevin Damagala, representing the Department of Roads. Uh, Doug Williams with AM Coron, who gets to actually build this structure. So, Doug, if you'd come up. Uh, Dennis Grennan representing uh, HDR as well as the uh, Transportation Committee. We have a series of Columbus City Councilmen. If you would all come up, gentlemen. Uh, I think it's just gentlemen because I haven't seen Beth yet. Uh, so, Ron and Troy and Rich and John and Print. I think we got them. Uh, former Mayor Moser, if you would please uh, man a shovel as well. And those who need photos, here's your opportunity.
shovel full there, gentlemen. <laughs> or a big shovel full. I'm a big shovel. Full. Show off. <laughs> I get dibs on the worms for fishing. <laughs> All right, we're ready? Yes. All right, one, two, three.